Not a lot. Just, uh, lot. can you, uh, are you to the point where you're, uh, popping the air bubbles while you're just, uh, centering the clay? Sometimes. I mean, yeah. I don't like to do that. But, no. Uh, but, yeah. I, the only reason I asked is I started just doing that. Like, I'll wedge, uh, I'll just pre-wedge some recycle clay, and I'll hear the pop, 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 and stuff like that. And I just... Well, I used to wedge everything. And, okay. uh, and uh, Duke, who was my mentor, had carpal tunnel and had to get his uh, hand operated on. Okay. And, and was threatening to have the other hand operated on. And I thought, well, I probably ought to start... I mean, I, I, I get the stuff that's... Um, there is a difference between the outside, you know, you get it in a block, and there is a little bit of difference between the outside and the middle. But, uh, but I was just trying to press it out. Okay. Know, and, just, and just throw it out. Uh, but I do wish sometimes. Okay. I do wish sometimes. If I'm doing bowls or um, something where I want to stretch a little bit, I'm, I don't want any uneven. Oh, uh, right. Okay, that makes like sense. It's like a mud or something like that. I don't like it. So these are just my standard mugs that I do. Uh, my mugs are very, very straightforward. Um, and this comes down to kind of that production thing versus uh, uh, um, I don't want to use that word. It comes down to production. Yeah. When you when you need to make a lot of something, you kind of want to find the easiest way to do it, but still make it look good. Um, and so that's kind of uh, what I started doing is instead of like trimming the bottoms of my pieces on like the feet, I just roll the bottoms. Like if you look at the bottom of that green mug, um, that that little red uh, clay at the bottom, that's just where I roll the clay over the foot. It's just it's quicker, it's easier, and it's something that I can um, make a little money at. So on my mugs, what I generally do, these are probably the loosest out of everything I do, which is still not very loose, um, because the only difference that I do uh, to these is I just take a rib up the side, so just doing a quick little motion, then I can come back in and I can just push out from the inside a little bit until I get a shape that I like. I mean, nothing by any means new original or anything like that. Um, but it's just one of those things where since the foot kind of has that same sort of uh, unperfect quality and the handles have that same perfect, uh, same imperfect quality, I figure the pull to mug shouldn't have them be perfectly smooth and stuff. So it's just uh, a way that I kind of justify being lazy. <laughs> you, you pull the handles from both sides? No. Uh, actually, uh, did I, there's a couple of mugs on it. Are any of those mugs getting close enough to yeah, pretty, pretty soft? They'd be pretty much. Um, any chance we can put those in the other room as yes, well? Yes. And uh, give them 15 minutes, and we can, might be able to. Uh, so very very simple mug, straightforward. Uh, there's absolutely no trimming in these things. Like they're thick, um, but my coffee stays warmer longer, right? Yeah. So I don't want a thick uh, or a super thin mug. I don't care that it has some beef to it. I'd much have a, a thicker mug where I don't have to refill my coffee as much because it's cold than having something that's paper thin. Um, and again, that took me a long time to come to as far as like, ah, it's too thick, it's too heavy, it's too thin. Yeah, like, it's all right. Um, it's handmade. So, I mean, as long as uh, you're putting enough thought into the rest of the piece and the shape and uh, all that stuff, it's a little heavy, it's not that big of a deal. Um, at least not in my mind. Uh, and there's a guy down in North Carolina, uh, his name's Michael Hunt, and he is makes a very, very similar mug. Um, simple, clunky, thick, but it was like my favorite mug. And so I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can make something similar to that. And I was kind of, eh, my handles are a little bit different than the result of the surfaces are way different. But I mean, as far as like getting it to the point where it's like hefty enough to be comfortable but light enough that mm -hmm. it doesn't feel clunky, 
Um, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. So it's just something that comes down to preference. But I've been making, I made about, I don't know, 75 or 80 mugs over the last week or so. And I get burnt out on handles and I get burnt out on different parts. And so you just have to find parts where you're like, eh, I'm going to put that to the side burner and move on to something more fun. Uh, and then you get to the point where you're like, alright, I'm sick of these. Put that on the side burner, move on to more fun. And so it's like I get that uh, sort of cyclical process. Alright. Hmm. Anything else you guys want to see as far as uh, we're going to show the decoration? Um, let's see if these things are getting close enough to trim up a little.